It is a clear fact that finance is a vital aspect of every individual's life. Although we may say that money is just a thing created to help us trade goods and services, but is money really a mere thing? Over time, money has gone beyond being used for trading. Money has become an instrument to measure the value of other things, including other people and ourselves. Due to financial situations, there are certain truths about money which we do not like to hear or admit. Nonetheless, our refusal to acknowledge them does not change their existence. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 9 of those brutal truths that people do not like to hear about money. 1. Saving money will not make you wealthy The internet is populated with so many hacks on how to keep a buck or two with virtually everything we do. Nonetheless, the bitter truth is that saving money is quite overrated. Yes, you heard right. Don't get me wrong, saving cash is lovely and can be helpful, especially during the rainy days. But no, the act of saving money won't, in of itself, make anyone affluent. According to Robert Kiyosaki, being rich is not about how much money you have. Wealth is a direct byproduct of what you do with the money. Likewise, saving without a plan is not smart because it is not the savings that matters but what you do with the savings. 2. Your money in the bank is getting someone else rich Most people are ignorant of the fact that the money they saved in the bank does not only sit in their accounts but it's also working for someone else. Have you ever wondered why at the end of a specific period an amount called interest, usually very small, is added to your account balance? Well, that amount is proceeds from the profit generated by your money. Some individuals have made millions of naira. Although financial institutions give loans to small businesses, the majority of the loans are granted to big corporations and investments. So, when these loans are paid back, you get a minute amount from your bank as an interest. We can say that the bank is like an investment, but it does more harm to the poor and is kind to the rich. 3. A higher paycheck won't make life easier Robert Kiyosaki once explained that the rat race mentality is the belief that a pay rise can make your life better. A significant percentage of people tend to think that the key to being wealthy is securing a high paying job. On the contrary, higher pay amounts to a higher tax and an increase in other expenses. He explained that while people with a poor mindset look for ways to cut down their costs and save more after a pay rise, those with a wealthy mindset attempt to identify ways for them to afford their ever-rising expenses. 4. Money finishes faster than it comes Many people refer to cash as a spirit. This term is attributed to it because often it is difficult to tell how and where it goes. It is easy to make plans on how to spend the money before it comes. You can even start budgeting before the commencement of a job. You may all the more decide to work overtime to increase the amount of money you earn. But without self-discipline, you'll discover that the money you have been working for for the whole month ends up finishing within a few hours. 5. Time is money all work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. As much as you try to justify your actions with that phrase, remember that every time wasted cannot be gotten back again. Playing and having some fun time is needed in life. However, the rich understand the importance of time and its connection with money and that is why they get involved in productive fun. They do sport, travel and engage in conversations and some other activities but never do they waste their time in unnecessary chatting and gossiping. That is the fun many poor people enjoy. They set schedules and discipline themselves to stay focused and not get distracted by technology and the likes. Still, right in the middle of an essential program, phone beeping and notifications get the poor carried away for hours. 6. Money Brings Happiness A funny Instagram post once read, Money can't buy happiness but it's much better to cry in a Lamborghini than to cry while working on the street. Contrary to the claim of individuals, money is needed to stay happy. Peace of mind, joy, true love are indeed gifts of nature but it does not mean that those who have money do not have them. Neither does it mean that the lack of money brings them your way. 
whether rich or poor, anyone who wholeheartedly searches for them, finds them, and cash sustains them. Money may not be able to buy happiness, but it sure maintains it. 7. The lack of money is as bad as the love of money. Many folks say the love of money is the root of all evil. People justify their state of money with that statement. But what about the lack of money? It is agreeable that a lot of individuals get into the wrong way of life because of the quest of money. Also, oppression and selfishness are rampant in society today because people love money more than their fellow humans. Nonetheless, it is crucial to understand that money is immoral. Its usage depends on its owner. Thus, it's not evil. Money itself is not bad. And the lack of money is just as terrible, if not even more terrible than the love of money. Just as the love of money makes individuals inhumane, so does the lack of funds. 8. Money Grows on Trees Many say money doesn't grow on trees, but maybe, just maybe you've not planted the right seed. Money itself is a seed that if planted in the right soil and adequately maintained, has the potential to produce a tree of money. There are three sets of people in life. The ones that do not plant seeds, those who plant but finish the fruits even before they reach maturity, and those who plant seeds and allow them to grow into ripened fruits. For the last set of people, money grows on a tree, not real trees, investment. In other words, the reason why you still think that money does not grow on trees is that you have not made the right investment. 9. Hard work alone will not make you productive. A lad once asked his father, Father, you and my friend's father are in the same line of business. You go out late in the morning and come back late at night, yet he only steps out on a few occasions. No doubt you work more than him. But why is he rich and yet we struggle to get by three meals a day? His confused father in a bid to cover up his confusion answered, The rich people are fraudulent. I'm sure that man cheats his customers, which is why he makes more money than I do. The inquisitive lad was not convinced with his father's reply and so persuaded his friend to ask his father why he is more prosperous. After a few days, they met again and the son of the rich man replied with his father's exact words, While the poor believe in physical work, we believe in smart work, which is the combination of both physical and mental work. The poor wants to save money, so he hires just any worker. But I want to make more money, so I hire the best. He doubles as his company's accountant, but I have an experienced account manager. I have a website that puts my business online. The richest men are not the hardest workers. They are the smart thinkers who are willing to take risks. Losing money may mean losing our status, friends, and respect and our brains are wired to avoid the pain of loss. Hence, rather than tell ourselves the truth, we create a version of ourselves that matches our desired financial status. Contrarily, if you must gain business success, you must tell yourself the truth.